We was talking about that, that French Montana song that did well with all that with Ray Shimmer on it. And it was all oh, asking yeah. like who like who did the, who produced it? It was Lava Soul. He was like, oh, I don't know. Oh yeah, I never he, even wasn't, he wasn't even giving dude credit, huh? Like he, he didn't even know his name. He didn't know hey. who he didn't know who produced no the beat. No bullshit. And that made everybody fucking live because I was like, bro, what the fuck? This is your biggest song in like the last two or three years. Hey. You don't even know who produced your beat. Yeah, that shit made me mad. Like, like that's a big deal. Yeah, I ain't gonna lie, song. niggas like really like don't just understand like how much it work is done like before they even record on that. I already know. Like it's hours of preparation. I know it's time you put into that shit because you gotta make it perfect to before you can get to the masses. Yeah, nigga, right. be, nigga be messing with a with a hi hat sound for hours just because it don't sound right, That's like a for a little bit. And you you look at the time. I swear, time be going by fast. And like when you working on it, you look up and it's already like midnight. I'm like, god damn, I started on this at nine. Still on the same shit. I believe it. But boom, then they turn around. <clears throat> damn, French, that beat was hard as shit. French. <laughs> Man, no, nah, facts. Uh, the producers for sure deserve more credit than what they're getting. So I'm really glad Erica uh, helped you out like that. Nah, and yeah, that just yeah, like, so, so how did you say y'all y'all met? Y'all had like class together or something? Nah, I just, uh, she posted like a freestyle on Twitter. And like, mm -hmm. I was like DJing on campus at the time. And then I just like said to myself, next time I saw on campus, I was gonna tell her I made beats and shit and we was gonna work. So I did that next time I saw her. She was by the library. I just told her like, here go my Twitter, like I make beats. Like yeah. I stay over here, she pull up, Facts. we can work. And then she pulled up and then we just working ever since. That's what's up. And at that time, she ain't even had nothing out. Like, she just had that freestyle out. And mm -hmm. that was it. Like, it wasn't nothing. So y'all was just been grinding together from, from the jump. Yep. Yeah. Okay, yeah, fuck with that. Fuck with that come up. That's what I'm looking for now. I need that. Honestly, it's really like genuine like that. Cause uh, old dude did that too. This is, the rapper kind of fell off, but the producer's still popping right now. Um, I'm about the producer is, damn, he worked with Drake. Black Boy JB and what's his oh. name? Oh, Take Heath. Take Heath. Oh, them niggas, them niggas, them they came up together because he produced no, that. Uh, but take keep been going off. That yeah, shoot, yeah, shoot he shit, produced yeah, that. Yeah, that yeah. shit took off. Nigga, what? And he brought you know take keep with him. That shit was love. I fuck with that. Um, so shit, any like local producers, any advice you got for them? Because it's like, I feel like the production that's such a competitive air area in music. It just got like that. Like, it's crazy. It's crazy because everybody is a producer now. Like you look up and bro, that shit. Is, Real. I think I think that nigga uh that nigga Mike Will and Metro just made it to where niggas wanted to be producers, like cause before the end niggas was kinda in the back. Like and that's how I always wanted it to be. Like I always yeah. wanted to be in the back, but yeah. shit. Now you gotta step out into the light yeah, as a producer facts. to like even be taken seriously or else niggas not gonna take you serious. Like you gotta build your platform just as much as the rapper artists do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So start to like work with other rappers. Yeah, facts. We gotta be damn near as vocal as them nowadays. Yeah, you do. So, can you take me through like what your process is when you like start making your beat and like when you just how you lock in, how you prepare to like boom, start to finish. Your Man, work. like I don't even really just have one. I just start making them hoes. Right. Okay. Like, I mean, with with bus it, like Organic. I was thinking like like I DJ and shit. I DJ to college and shit. So mm -hmm. like. I was just in the, the mindset of a DJ, like with that hoe, because it's a club record and all my club records I be like that with. Yeah. One one question I got is, when do you know a beat is done? Cause I think mm -hmm. that's pretty hard. I feel like producers struggle with, damn, did I do too much? Yeah, they do. Did I do too little? Like, should I add something else? Should I do something like? Shit, yeah. because like, I ain't trying to like shine like in that. I mean, I'm shining, but like, I know what aspects to like leave open for the artists, like leave room for them niggas. Cause mm -hmm. if you had a whole too cluttered, like they not even gonna be able to put nothing on top of them. Yeah, it's gonna be fucked up. It's so. on certain artists that's even versatile enough to even just stick with certain shit that you Fact. wanna just go with. 
Obviously. Yeah, but um, I just really just be knowing, like, I just, it's just a feeling I get, like, it just yeah. Cause I feel like I feel like also once once the rapper puts the lip vocals down over the beat, that kind of gives you some more thought process to be like, all right, she doing this, so let me kind of take this away here. Yeah, I think that. But no, I don't, I don't even do that too. really because uh, like. Uh, most sometimes I don't even be in the studio when people record the tracks. So like, oh, yeah. you know, I be having to make like the beat. Most of the beats be made before, like, yeah. and then I bring them to the session. Oh, if I'm there, just mess it all up. Yeah, got gotcha. you. You engineer too? Yeah, I engineer too. Okay, that's dope. A lot of the hey, a lot of niggas don't do that. I mean, DJ, engineer, and produce. Yeah, no, nah, I'm. I've definitely been a, like a student of the game for a minute now. Yeah. So like, I when really you got into when you got into engineering. Uh, I started engineering in college, like just because it was niggas like trying to record and shit like I went to school <laughs> with. So oh, okay. I was just recording them niggas and then um, I just kept doing it. Like, shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Facts. That's wild, man. How much would you say music as a whole like plays a key part in like your, your mental health on a day by day? Shit, it played the most part, really. <laughs> like, I mean, Facts. I be listening to music every day. Like, I don't think it's a day I ain't listening to music. Like, yeah. I, I listen to music every day, like in some shape or form. Like I'm gonna listen to music. Okay. Any kind. So I'm gonna I'm gonna give you a tough question. I know it's on the spot, but she I need you to give me like at least your top three <laughs> all producers. Time, all time. Oh. Okay. Top three artists. All right. Ooh. I want to say five, but I ain't gonna do that to you. I'm gonna, I'm gonna just ask for three. All right. So top three, three producers. Three a bit harder. I'm gonna go. Like I'm gonna go Kanye. I felt, I, was, I, was I felt it. I felt it coming. I felt it coming. I'm gonna go. Honorable C note. That nigga. That nigga yeah, is tough. Did you that nigga slip on it before? Uh uh-uh. uh. His rhythm was less so hard. Go look that up. I'm gonna have to go see that. Hoe. And you then on YouTube, huh? Just show me. Mm. Then I'm gonna go with Mike Will. Mm. Cause of what what that nigga nah, did, he, he, like the he like being a producer, bro. Sure. Like yeah, that nigga. Up. Then that nigga brought in Ray Shremer, like. And them niggas like super talented. It's crazy. I ain't, like when they first came out, I didn't even think they was gonna last this long. I so did. The like, fact that they've been huge fan. with uh Mike Will this long, like he's putting out this consistency. I'm really glad that they've been on their shit like they have been with Mike Will. Like, that's, that's been, Mike Will. They were just performing at what where was that? Uh, what was just having Cali? That big ass concert. Uh, uh, rolling Loud? Rolling Loud. Yeah, they, yeah. they were just performing that. That was on the Oh yeah, yeah I could that. that was just on little little uh, Diggy show too. Oh, that's live. Oh, that's See, live. like yeah. they like they like some stars, like Fact. they Fact. real deal superstars, and they really transcended into the next level. They've been like, in the game for a while. Some people don't get to do that, and some people don't have the mentality to like go to that next level yeah. and be like a superstar. And them niggas both had it. So that's why. Shit. I'm Speaking of, I want to take it back to what you said earlier when you was like a. Uh, People like Metro and Mike Will, they really brought out like producers stepping out in the forefront. Yeah. Like even some in front of rappers. Like damn it, people would put Metro like ahead of some rappers. Like, I say, like no, Metro was yeah. like a really big name. No, yeah, he, yeah, he, yeah he, he he all. But that's because his niggas were shouting him out too. Like Fact. Fact. he came, I don't know what he did, like, but everybody, he just had respect from everybody around him and every artist he fucked with, mm-hmm. like damn near. Show love. Like show love in the track. Metro don't, yeah, facts. Don't. Like that's future. That's like hard. Yeah. Like and that made like that really like that looked at him too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's he made that future uh cosign, hell yeah. When that shit cause it was shit catchy. And the beat was hard as fuck. Yeah, no, nah, that nigga cold. Like nah, that's, definitely, that's, definitely. niggas can't take that away from him. That nigga like really yeah. know how to put that shit together. Nah, I ain't gonna lie, he ain't got your woman for no reason. Then he blew up twenty weeks. It's crazy. Well, Twenty One already blew up, but like he took that nigga to the next level when, oh, they, when they made yeah, Savage, Savage Mode. Mode. Savage Mode, yeah. No, nah, in fact, when Savage Mode came out, that really, that damn near like propelled Twenty One. What he had, it did, bro. Like, he been, he been stupid consistent lately too. Facts. Yeah, that nigga one of the top artists in my opinion right now. He he hasn't really missed in a minute, like any as far as because what was the last part that he did that uh, Savage Mode too? No, that greater than. I was. I'm. I am greater than I was. No, no, no. He. Uh, that was hard too. But oh, the Savage Mode yeah, too. He dropped Savage yeah. Mode too. But like, as far as all his features, I haven't heard that nigga miss yet. And the album. Yeah, I yeah. fuck with the album. But yeah. he hasn't just. Like, what's the last bad verse he had? It's been some nah, years. Because he was on. I think he was on Cold shit, and he ran. Down. Everything yeah. he got with Cold is, is hard too. Yeah. That was that was his song, I think. Which one? That uh. 
Oh, you talking about a lot? A lot, yeah. Yeah, that was his song. A lot was his song, but I think Cole had him on his album. Oh, on the Dreamville too. Yeah, no, 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 the new one that just dropped. The new one that the fall. What's the off season? The off season. Oh, okay. Yeah, no, I ain't gonna listen to that. I ain't gonna lie, for real. You ain't hear that? I don't know how I skipped it. Like in the time, in the time, all the shit like that was going on, the music stuff. Like we was on the road and like. Oh shit. Okay. That makes sense. Yeah, I just didn't get a chance to listen to that. I ain't gonna lie, I think it's probably like a top five song in that project. I'm gonna have to yeah, check that no, out. Yeah, that's that's a lot Definitely. So, do you think like one day producers are really like gonna be like more producers is gonna step up? Yeah, it's already happening. Like, mo, you see more and more like artists like putting the producer name like in the title, and everything like featuring, da da da. Like, yeah, niggas nice. starting to do that more and more. I've noticed that. I ain't so, never seen that before. Before like last, like, 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 producers like, coming out with their own tapes. Like I mm -hmm. got something for to come out. Like oh, yeah. one of my partners, the nigga I produced two there with, his name D Mac turned me up. Like we got oh, some shit coming out. Like on the twenty fourth, I think that's it's Monday. Monday. And that shit, y'all just be sending beats to rappers, and they just send them all. Yeah, them. some of them, and then some of them I just done had get on them in the studio and shit. Like yeah. just extra verses and stuff. We just put them hoes together. So so far, who has been like? I guess the your favorite artist to like uh, collab with, like make a beat for, or was it just like y'all just have great great synergy together. Um, uh, I don't really got one. Like every like every process, I appreciate like with every artist I work with. Okay. So like, yeah. so it ain't just one favorite one yet. Yeah. Do you like do the rappers kind of tell you how they want to be, or you kind of just do what you do? It depends. Yeah. Like. Some some artists like be like like super controlling of like how they want the song to be. Some don't. Some yeah, some want my my input. You know what I'm saying. But some yeah. of them don't like want your input. They want to do their part. You know what I'm saying. I respect it. Like I mean, yeah. it's their art too. Yeah, they try yeah. to create it. Cause like we, I mean, we both want the song to jam. <laughs> we you know, so yeah, I ain't trying to put out no bullshit. Now if a nigga like get on that whole bullshit and I'm there, I'm not gonna let that happen. Though. <laughs> Oh yeah, nah, facts. Like, nigga not gonna... I just made this hard ass beat and get on the studio and and shit on the mic. Nobody wants that. Come on now. <laughs> Other people gotta touch that. Well, what's it been like working with B King since since 13? Man, that nigga B King is hilarious. Like, I, mean, I don't I, know. I, I know, know y'all can tell from that nigga social media, bro. That's yeah, one of yeah. the funniest niggas. Like if he wasn't a rapper, bro, well, that nigga still could do it. Like he could be a, like a straight up comedian, like a stand up comedian, bro. Yeah, nah, like that nigga just every day is funny. Like every session I done got in the studio, they like that nigga been jokes yeah. the whole time. Like and it don't even <laughs> like it's not he not even trying though. It's yeah, like I, that nigga yeah, just a genuinely nigga funny actually, nigga. But nah, that nigga is special. He a special person. Like he a special artist, special producer, like all that. So since you've been working with him for so long, we all get together and collab. Does it even feel like work at that point? Hell like, no, nah, it's just me going to that nigga house. Like, yeah, yeah. <laughs> like I've been going, I've been working with that nigga since, like I said, I was 13. Like we've been coming out here since I was 15. Like I ain't even from out here. So like, yeah. So my first time coming to Houston was coming to work with that nigga. Yeah. So, um, yeah, that nigga, that nigga cool in the bitch. Like okay. I really appreciate that nigga for showing me love so early. Facts. Hey, shout out Biki. Facts, shout out to that nigga. Um, so how long do it normally take you to make a beat? Shit. Nah, it, 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 it depends on what type of beat. Yeah, because like I don't, I make beats like five minutes sometimes, like yeah, three minutes, like mm -hmm. like they really trap beats. Like and then like when I be making beats, like I really just be. Sometimes I be vibing, just listening to them hoes. So them hoes really be done, but I be listening to them, trying to put them in, like sequence that hoe. Okay. But like the beat be done, like yeah. real fast. Facts. I've had that, yeah, that's, that's fact. But some of them do take longer though, but I don't really just, like take longer. I swear the ones that just take longer, it be the smallest shit the reason. Like, it be the smallest shit on why it take long. Shit, but nowadays, if that was taking long, it probably ain't gonna be no hit. I ain't gonna lie. It be taking too I long. Like, I feel like. Cause then you probably gonna just overwork it, over touch it. Yep. And just don't leave no room for yeah, I feel like once you like hear, like I feel, once I start hearing the loop too much, it's like man, I don't even like this shit no more. First, to talk that shit. And you gave me your three favorite uh, producers. Who are your three favorite artists? Oh, of all time, shit. Right. I gotta go. I gotta go, Wayne. I ain't mad at that at all. Wayne, everybody. Damn, but then like, bro, that's that's hard, cause. I gotta go with Drake. Mm. I gotta put Drake in there. Got the but then now I got shit. Who? 
Damn, I don't even know. Damn, that's a tough. Just that's hard. bro. That's them them lists two, though. always be tough. Yeah, you like, can't go wrong with them two on any list. Yeah, that's a solid two. <laughs> if you gonna have any two, I don't know. I don't. I can't. I can't do that third one because you leaving so many people. Yeah, like, I know. Too many people. <laughs> And then you said all time, so it's like, God damn. Nah, I feel that. Like, I feel like if you said today. Okay, yeah, that's easy. What's you know, the what day? you got today? Oh, today? Shit, I got 21. Okay. okay I got Drake, Drake still. Drake. For sure. And then I got, um, I got no cap. I ain't gonna lie. Bro, I ain't gonna I lie, no cap. No cap name. We've been, we been coming up lately. Bro, like, no cap, bro. It's so many niggas. That's in the industry right now that done stole from that nigga, that stole bars off that nigga back in child album, bro. Oh, yeah. It's so many, like, bars, like, that Drizzy Drake reference, like, that nigga made that hoe. Like, I ain't hear nobody else say nothing about no Draco. Like, yeah. like, I got, like, I got Drakes in my hood. We ain't never seen Drizzy. Mm -hmm. That's what that nigga said. Like, he said that way before anybody was saying shit like that. Yeah. Like, that nigga is cold. Like, uh, he, he for sure getting a lot more acclaim on his name. I seen him on some. What was he prefer? Bro, y'all gotta listen, bro. Like, every bar is a bar with that nigga. Like, on some Wayne yeah, shit. Yeah, he got like, a lot of double entendres. I, I caught that. Nigga, that nigga got triple entendres in there. Like, like, nah, I that nigga one of the coldest niggas. Like, coldest wordsmiths for sure. Really? Now, niggas might not like the way his music sounds sometimes, but mm -hmm. I fuck with the way that nigga I mean, music that's sounds. The kind, that's the way that's kind of also taking place right now. Like, it ain't the most dominant wave out right now, but. It's still like it's a lot of niggas that like that shit. Yeah, that sure. pain. Yeah, that pain. Like definitely tree shit. Dirt still listen. Yeah, facts. Niggas still listen to that shit. You see what dirt going right now? Man, dirt. Like, dirt. Yeah, that nigga up. Dirt really like elevated. Ever since he did that Drake feature, bro. Like I ain't gonna lie. That hoe propel him to the what? next level. That like, shit crazy. That shit is crazy. That nigga so It only take one. The chokehold Drake got on this generation. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's crazy, different. bro. Like, that's the only nigga we listening to full albums yes. for, from. Like, every time, bro, niggas is listening to his full nigga, album. Nigga, Wait, Drake no. said he gonna drop an album January 2021. It's, no, fuck that. He said December at first. Yeah, he did. He it's said December of 2020. August 19th, and everybody is still just waiting patiently. Same with Kanye. This is the first time he done did this. Like, usually he drop every year. You, you think he, uh... He doing that shit cause Kanye doing that shit. No. What do you think? Cause like what's what's like what's the hold up? What's what's going on? I mean, no. that nigga, I think he just finishing that hoe up. Like you chill. don't think that bitch finished? Nah. This nigga is chilling. And then that's great. Like, like, that nigga chilling. He probably added shit on there, like he could be. This is like what album? He done shit, put out like know. ten ten albums already. Yeah, he like he, this is like his eleventh. He got album. a catalog for sure. So like that nigga like I don't know. I think he just like being real meticulous with this all right now. Mm hmm. Man, drop that shit. Got <laughs> Cause his last shit was hard. No, that was, yeah. was I was talking no, about that, that, uh, that that demo tape. Yeah. It was, right, a, it was yeah. a rotation for months for me. That bitch was tough. Me too. That was. I still jam that time for Like, yeah. hey man, it's a couple tracks on there. But um, any other closing shit, bro? Had walked in, you seen the post? You just, yeah, facts. Oh, we gotta, yeah. If we gonna close it out, we gotta close it out on what we do. Goddamn. Big fact. Tell tell the people what uh the type of anime you said you fuck with. Shit, I fuck with One Punch, Goddamn, Seven Daily Sins, My Hero Academia. Hey, that's and, coming uh, up hard. Goddamn, Baki. Mm. Okay. Uh, uh, I like what that. else? Throwing hands at Baki. Hey, hands get thrown. That's all they do. <laughs> <laughs> hands. Yeah, of course, Dragon Ball. That's the OG. Big OG. Man, Dragon. Man, they supposed to be coming back too. I, don't, I heard so oh, yeah, it's, it's a movie. Hard. It's a movie coming out. I heard they dropping a movie. I feel like I know what it is. I'm gonna be mad if it is. What, but that's oh, you think you think it's about to be the shit from the market? I think it's about to be. Shit. I think it's about to be that moral shit. I hope not. But well, well fuck it. I'll be happy with whatever they give me on it. Because I feel like the show is about to start take place on that Broly shit. Oh, picking up right there. I think they're going. Nah, I don't think so. I don't I think, think we're gonna see Broly for a minute. I think they're gonna reanimate all that shit again. They, oh they no, you're right. I, I see what you're talking about. You're talking about the movie and like yeah, breaking down the episodes. Re I think they're oh no, yeah, they're definitely gonna do that. Again you're right. Break that shit down into more episodes. You fucking right. But um, whatever, I guess I'll watch it. You got any uh, advice for any uh, artists, local artists or producers that looking at you, trying to get in your lane, and how they can uh, make it easier on themselves? Because I know you're thriving in it right now. Just like be yourself, shit. Like that's all I'm gonna say. Like be you. Cause can't nobody ever beat you at that. Like if you mm -hmm. try to like 
be another nigga. Like, you always gonna be behind. You always gonna be a step behind. Because first of all, music take like a year to come out damn near. So you listening to how that nigga Beast was a year ago, or yeah. Songs was a year ago. Like, yeah, he already searching for and, a new lane. Yeah, he already done made a new lane, probably. Yeah. Like, and music changed about every three, four years. So the songs is dro dropping, like, most of the time, it don't even be songs that the artists like no more. You know what I'm saying? They done been done made, moved on to some new shit. Like, yeah, yeah. yeah. So um, just just stay yourself, like, and don't try to drop other niggas. Like, just I'm create from your perspective. Yeah, music ain't got no rules. I feel like. Yeah, it don't. If you, you really if don't. It, if it sound good to you, then it sound good. If hey, it, if it's sound, good, if it sound good to you, it's gonna sound good to a lot yeah, of other people too. Yeah. You just gotta find your lane, and people will gravitate to what you fuck with. Facts. Like, That's how it work. High risk, high reward. So definitely try anything. Try everything. Shit, I be messing with every single plugin on that bitch. I don't care. Yep. See how it sound. It might sound good. But um, Sergeant Jack, man. Appreciate you for stopping by. Appreciate y'all for having me. Nah, man. facts, man. It's uh, dope. Dope having you. Hey, song's dope. For like sure. I said, uh, his socials, um, everything. All like I said, the list of the music, all that gonna be in the description somewhere up here. Check them out. Subscribe to the channel, please. Like yeah. the video. Till next time. Peace. You know, I was just venting, man. You know.